Badminton. Lesson 5. Service, Defensive Shots and Offensive Shots. After watching this video, we will able to name some techniques in performing various serves and shots. Different shades between defensive and offensive shots. Trace the trajectory of high and low serves. For the service, we have high deep single serve, low short serve, drive serve, and flick serve. For the defensive shots, we have underhand drop shot, underhand clear, overhand or overhead clear, backhand overhand clear, overhand drop shots, and box or black return. For the offensive shots, we have smash, forehand drive, backhand drive, push shot, and around the head shot. On this video, we will discuss also the different types of drills. We have shadow badminton, wall rally, multiple shuttles overhead strokes, multiple shuttles net, half court singles, king of court, and two versus one. The service. Game plays begin with a serve. It may be done underhand forehand or underhand backhand. In order not to commit a service fault, a player must point the shaft of the rocket downward so that the entire head of the rocket is clearly below the hand holding the rocket. The service is the shot that starts a play or rally. When the server is serving even point, he must stand in the right hand half of his service court. When the server is serving odd points, he must stand in the left hand half. Doubles, the non-serve can stand anywhere on his side of the net. The receiver must not move until the servers has served. High Deep Single Serve In singles play, the rule requires that the serve in badminton be hit with an underhand stroke. The server's initial purpose is to force his opponent away from the net and into a position towards the rear of the court where he cannot make an effective return. The higher and deeper the serve, the more difficult the angle and timing of the opponent's return. In performing an effective high deep single serve, swing forward and rotate your body. Weight balance move from back leg to front leg. When rotating forward, push the hip forward before the rest of the body for more power. Focus on the shuttle and see the movement when rotating before releasing and hit. Release shuttle while rotating forward making the shuttle fly forward. Impact on the shuttle is in front of you using the power from the rotation. Low short serve is used primarily in doubles. It's also used in singles whenever the opponent has moved back in anticipation of a deep serve. When proper executed, a low short serve will clear the net by only an inch or two and will land within inch of the key. The low short serve can be done using either a forehand or backhand technique. In performing low short serve, slightly bend your elbow back and then forward on impact. The wrist bend a bit forward same time as the elbow goes forward. Have a loose grip and use the bevel beat. The thumb is on the edge of the grip. Avoid hitting the feather. Hit it straight and point in the direction where you want to place the serve. Drive serve. It is a hard, quick serve with a flat trajectory or flight path. It should be used partly and only to provide an element of surprise. You should try to hit a drive serve towards your opponent's rocket shoulder, so that the shuttle arrives before your opponent has a time to prepare his or her rocket for an aggressive return. Flick serve. Flick serve is a high serve used almost exclusively in doubles play. 
It is a deceptive alternative to the low serve designed to keep the opponent from rushing your low serve. It will often produce a weak return to which can be easily cured. Flick, a quick wrist and forearm rotation. Defensive shots. Defensive shots are shots utilized to gain time to recover the center position and to force the opponent to the back end. The primary defensive shots in badminton are clears and drop shots. Underhand drop shot. It may be played from one to two areas, the area between the short service line and the base line, or the area closer to the net. It should be used to return an opponent's shot that is well in front of you and that has trajectory that is too low for you to attack. Hairpin drop shot it is when you use a drop shot to return a drop shot that has fallen low on your side of the court close to the net. Underhand clear. It is hit near and it is used to gain time to recover the center position and to force the opponent to the backcourt. It is most effective when the opponent is either in the front court or moving forward. Overhand or overhead clear. It is very similar to the motion of throwing a baseball. The most basic badminton shot with this stroke is the clear, a high shot dip to the back of the opponent's court. Here is an example of overhand or overhead clear. Backhand overhand clear. Many players believe that the high backhand shot, particularly one used to produce a clear from deep back court, is the, it is the most difficult shot in badminton because it requires tremendous power. Here is the example of backhand overhead clear and also the footwork. Overhand drop shot. The overhand drop shot, whether slow or fast, is a shot that drops just over the nets and lands near a sideline or corner in the front court just out of the reach of an opponent who is moving backward in anticipation of deep return. Here is the example of overhead drop shot. Blocks or block return. A block is a type of shot produced by holding the racket stationary in the path of smash shuttle so that is rebound into the opponent's skirt. Here is the example of block. The first picture represents the, first, the preparation for hitting a block return. The second one is the block blocking a return. And the third one is follow through on block shot. Offensive shot. The offensive shot described that section are used extensively but not exclusively for moving an opponent out of position and creating a tactical advantage. Smashes and drives. Smashes and drives are intended to end the rally and win the point by hitting the shuttle down to the below. Smash. Smash is an overhand or overhead shot hit with explosive power and speed downward to the opponent's court. Forehand drive. Forehand drive produced by a flat side arm stroke played on the forehand or backhand. Backhand drive. Backhand drive, there are times when a shuttle hits deep to your backhand side. Drills. Badminton drills are relatively simple practice that anyone can handle. can help players to play better and augment their skills more. Playing games alone with no effort at all is not sufficient. First is the badminton drill number one, shadow badminton. First to discuss is a shadow badminton. This practice can enhance your movement correctly and give you some techniques in actual hitting of the shuttlecock. Drill number two. Wall Rally The Wall Rally drill or wall practice at its popularly called among badminton. Players is a drill where a player should stand in front of the wall and continuously hit the shuttles on the wall. 
Drill number 3. This badminton drill is meant to improve your speed and accuracy in executing overhead stroke. You have to remember that merely reaching the shuttles is not enough. You have to play quality shots to the other side. Drill number 4. Multiple Shuttles Net This badminton drill is meant to improve your net play and your movement on court. Quality of your return is important. Pay attention to it or this practice will not be effective. Drill number 5. Half Court Singles Playing half court singles can improve footworks and increase stamina. It will train you to play more accurate shot with all strokes as well. It is fun to play and effective in improving your game. Drill number 6. King of Court The winner will stay in the court as a king while another player will take it home. The king will stay on until he loses. The eventual winner of that duel will then switch to other side of the court become king. And lastly, drill number 7. 2 versus 1 the two players on one side of the court must assume a front back position and play as they would in a single match. You will then be able to play in a very tough and pressured condition, enable you to rise your group. And that was the report of Group 5. I hope you've learned something on this video. Thank you very much and mabuhay!